Come on, buddy. Ooh, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the BS Extravaganza Football Forum! Right on. Game buddy. week. Football starts this week. Thank God. I'm sick of baseball, man. Is it still going on? I hope not. Anyways, man. we'll be up there Saturday is all I know. That's right. Nailing, get, right. The, get the seats warmed up because here we come. Okay. Just as we said we would do, here we are now with the SEC East football picks. Yes. We pick the West. And as you know, these picks are mine. Oh, yeah. Take it to the bank. That's right, because the SEC is so easy to predict. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, it's so easy. Right? Wrong. Right. Anyways, let's jump into this, Brandon. Let's get into this. Uh, Florida, king of the... SEC, right? Do now. we even need to look at their schedule to predict what they might, you know, go? No, no not mm -hmm. really. I'm just, just, I mean, I hate to say, but 12 and 0. 12 and 0. That's that's what we're seeing, and we hope not. But 12 and 0. Um, of course, you got Georgia next. Georgia. Georgia. Uh, let me point out something to you. Of course, I got Georgia going eight and four. What do you got? I got them going seven and five. Let me ask you this, Oklahoma State, that's a that's a pretty tough opener, maybe. Yeah. But Georgia's offense is the weak link this year. Their their defense is probably gonna be pretty good. What if it ain't though? Then they're in real bad trouble. No, I'm saying what if what if uh Georgia comes out lining up on offense? They they could. I mean it's a very big possibility. Who's like Stafford Who? Stafford Who's Joe Cox. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, but here's the thing. I hate to say, but I got them losing that game. I do too. But if their offense is, is together, I know their defense is going to lay some licks on them. Big 12, that big 12. Yeah. No defense playing conference. Uh, so if Georgia just comes up there and hits them hard, then Georgia can take that game. Yeah. For the sake of the SEC, I hope so. But unfortunately, I do have them losing. But I got them going eight and four, like I eight said. Four, seven and five here. So let's move on to Kentucky. Kentucky. Well, you know, Kentucky seems to start off the season every now and then like they're going to be on a roll, then it never really works out real good for them. Um, unfortunately, this year, after looking at what they what they've got ahead, I've got them going six and six. That's pretty good, man. Uh, I I like Kentucky. I really do. I like their program. Maybe because. Mel Brooks. No. Well, yeah, that's great. He's a great film director. That's right. And coach. But, no, I, I actually like him because, you know what? We beat them all the time. <laughs> they ain't beat us since, like, 84. Uh, but, anyways, I've got them going five and seven. Five and seven. Yeah, that, I mean, it, it's a possibility to go either which way. No big shockers on that. i got them losing. I do have them losing to Vanderbilt. Yeah, I do, too. Vanderbilt, you know. We'll get to them. South Carolina, the old ball coach. The old ball. This is the old ball coach last year. This is I it think. for him, man. I think he's going to be playing golf, fishing, doing whatever he wants to yeah. this year. Either he, he needs to go ahead, he'll bow out on his own, or they'll force him out, I'm telling you. Yeah. They've lost to Vanderbilt two years in a row. Yeah. Um, I got South Carolina six and six. Six and six. And like the last one, how you had – Kentucky five and seven. I have them six and six. I've got South Carolina at five and seven. So mainly yeah. because I think that they're going to lose. You know, the only difference between you and me is that I think that Clemson beats them. Just because the SEC, man. I just went with. Uh, I said they're going to beat Clemson, even though they actually I don't think they hardly ever do it. But I'm just going. They're going to send. The, you know, the old ball coach is saying, I'm, I'm out of here. And you know how it is when a team's coach is retiring. They'll play their hearts Remember out. Remember Michigan even beat Florida. Yeah. That was like a miracle. We was saying no. Um, Lloyd Carr. <laughs> oh, God, I miss that. Guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, hey, we got to bring out a point. Yeah. 
We spanked that butt for him one time. That's right, Jason Witten looking like a daggum running back up there. Smoked them boys. Anyways, let's go on down with Skip. Tennessee, let's go to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, the other Tennessee team. Well, you know, I've got them going six and six. Very nice. That's what I've got, six and six. You know, we don't know precisely if this is, you know, accurate, but just looking at the schedule and picking out the games, six and six is what I've come up with. Okay. That's what I've got. With their biggest win, I would say Georgia Tech. I'm, I'm picking them to beat Georgia Tech. I've got them losing to Georgia Tech. Maybe their big win on mine is – I might go with the Mississippi State game. Well, I've got to beat Mississippi State. Well, I mean, if they beat Mississippi State, that's going to be huge because Mississippi State is um, – they're, they're out there. They're, they, you know, they're – anyways, uh, Tennessee. Tennessee, our team. As I have predicted, nine and three, and I will stand by that, though everybody in the team's hurt. But you know what? What? After I've looked over all these, mm -hmm. I've got them going nine and three also with the hey, way to get on board. As well, you know, hey. Way to get on board. I think we get Georgia this year. I think we beat Georgia. That's right. I hope we do. We might not. Who knows? I think we get them. And I think in all three losses that I have Tennessee, which is Florida, I've got them losing to Alabama. I've got them losing to Ole Miss. I think all three of those games, we're competitive. We make them sweat. It's not going to be an easy game for any of them. Right. And the big factor for us this year, man, is that we've got like eight games at home. That's great. And, and the reason why I've got us also losing to those, and I hate to say that we're going to lose, but, I mean, the reality is they've got a – their program's a step ahead. I mean, we've had to kind of rebuild and, and shuffle around and – they're just a little bit ahead of us right now, so. Three years and three new offensive systems for some of these it guys. It takes its toll. And, you know, like you said, the injuries. Uh, if we didn't have so many injuries, you know, who knows what could happen. But we've got to put some freshmen out there on the field. Power rankings. I got Florida. I got Tennessee at two. Georgia. South Carolina. Vanderbilt. And then Kentucky. I've got Florida at one, I've got Tennessee at two, Georgia at three, Vanderbilt at four, Kentucky at five, and South Carolina at six. Mm. Who knows? Nice. Who knows? All right, as we do on game week, we're throwing out the first prediction of the year, Western Kentucky Hilltoppers versus the Tennessee Volunteers. They're coming into a hectic atmosphere. I can only imagine what it's going to be like. It's going to be electric, man. Gonna the be awesome. people are going to, it's going to, it's a whole new era. We're going to be there. This is sort of like history in Tennessee football. A new era begins Saturday. A new That's era. Right. That's right. Uh, man, I don't know. I'm just going to go with 42-12 Tennessee. Tennessee. They're putting some points up on the There's scoreboard. There's no heel topping at Rocky Top. Sorry. I think, uh, I think we come out. I don't think Western Kentucky scores a touchdown on us. They might get a field goal. Um, I'm thinking more along the lines of 38-3. to 3. You're going to see a lot of emotion starting off the game. Tennessee, it might take them a couple of possessions to get, get it rolling, but I think after that we're going to be fine. I think our defense is going to come out and lay some lumber on them and send them back to Western Kentucky with an L. They're going to be so confused they're going to go back to West. Eastern Kentucky. They're going to go the wrong way. That's right. This has been the BS Extravaganza Football Forum. We thank you for tuning in and watching. Right. We love all of our subscribers. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. It's going to be an awesome year, guys. It's going to be, it's an, awesome be an awesome year. We're going to have special guests in the studio this year. That's so right. So y'all check us out. We love you. We'll see you Saturday.